dropped today called Downpour, not the Silent Hill version, even though I I really like that game. Um, Sonic, Soniku, we're getting you hooked up. Remember, this network test is available until the 23rd. A great GEC talk on Rain World procedural animations on YouTube. I did see some of that. Not all of it, but it was pretty cool to see the makings of Rain World. I've never played this game before, so I don't really know what to expect. Expect rain, downpour, expect cats and slugs. Expect expeditions. And this is where it's gonna get like super tough. I'm going to do expedition mode as someone who has never played this game before. And I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so Hello? Oh, it's down there. Don't spoil the game. So what's what's going to be tough here, Nindroid? So the Rain World Downpour DLC has a new game mode called Expedition. And what Expedition is, is you drop into a random spot on the map and you play for an objective. And they said it will be hard. And I was like, okay, as much as I enjoy the idea of playing Story Rain World, I think I would more so enjoy Expedition, if it even lets me do it. Expedition. You start off with a slug cat. We have the basic survivor. Or we have the monk. Uh, with no unique skills to boast about, the survivor embarks on an expedition to test their resolve. Play a new... I believe this is procedurally generated expedition. Uh, we'll leave it on normal. Earn 70 points from creature kills this cycle. Reach the vista point in the exterior and visit the subterranean echo. I don't know what any of that means. Start. I don't even know the buttons. I feel like you don't need buttons in this game. It's not like we're playing a Hollow Knight or Dead Cells or something. It's just jump, right? Is there any other button besides jump? There's no double jump? Wall climb? Yeah, the other buttons don't do anything. Um, so we do have quote unquote dev kit stuff enabled, but don't think of it as like we're using mods. This is all part of downpour. Ooh, this is pretty. So I thought maybe I could climb onto like these little blue things. Uh, there are grab and throw buttons. Okay, hang on, hang on. So we have jump, we have throw, we have eat. So I guess X is pick up and then B to throw. That's the only buttons you need. I ate. You do be eaten. Eat with both hands at the same time. That's hungry. Holy smokes. God made two hands for a reason. I got a spear. From eating? Wall climb? So the slug cat I thought could climb walls? Maybe that's like Metroidvania tech we don't have? Is there a sprint? 
it's a map button. What's that above me? <laughs> okay. Are those spikes? So the other fun part about this is I don't know what is danger and what's not. Ice spear. Okay, that's a 10 out of 10 game. If you can wall jump like that, that's a good game, if you ask me. What's this thing? There's no meta progression? No Metroidvania? Where's my double jump? Wait, friendly? Okay, so, so that's where I am. That's a creature of some kind. We do have to kill creatures. Yum. No, not yum. Not yum at all. Is this like a bomb or something? I feel like my movement capability is so boosted. Like, in what world can the slug cat not make that jump? On the first try. What in the world am I looking at? You'll probably be able to tell what is hostile and what isn't. Oh, maybe that's my objective, is the, uh, the yellow. Unlucky. Oh, unless it's a buddy? Trying to tell me where to go? Did I just lose my spear? No. No. Oh, wow. But I can't seem to, like, grab it out of the wall. It's like, once I did that throw, it's long gone. I'm watching TV from your PS4, so atmospheric. Is that, like, Sony TV? Buddy, I don't know what you want. Okay, so we're full. What a weird game. So there are objectives. Reach the vista point in the exterior. How do I know I'm in the exterior? Visit subterranean echo. Ow? My controller shook. Subterranean Echo would make you think four is enough to hibernate. Fall damage? No fall damage? Subterranean exterior makes me think, like, go down. Right? You are hungry. Find food. I have food in my hand. Is this like the tutorial spot right here? Like, we randomly stumbled upon the tutorial. Hang on, I just want to check one quick thing. Okay. Oh, wow. 
It, it is. <laughs> Why they give this to me after moving around? Leap the gap. Huh. Huh. Oh God. Huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Down? A. Oh. Rain is coming. Find shelter. I, when slugs want rain? Or else you get all dry. Run. Give me this. This place is safe. Stay here to hibernate. Alright, what's the hibernate button? Oh, it's kind of cute. What a weird game. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's like post-apocalyptic subway line. It's like now approaching Hanamura. Did I lose my spear? Now I assume that the game always tells you that rain's coming. Objects can be picked up, carried, and tossed. There's no object. Yeah, I did start in expedition. How, how'd you realize that, Lone? How, how could you tell? Yo, look at the eats. Eating's kind of weird. Like, the character just looks at it for a little while. Like, we know what this is. Use the blueberries. It's the blueberry crunch. You're lucky to start in this area. Maybe because the game knows I've never played before, it automatically took me to tutorial area. Regardless of expedition mode or not. Which, honestly, pretty smart if that's the case. What kind of Metroid dread? They can't climb. They're dumb. Ah! Those are spikes, right? I'm so afraid. What are the things called in Metroid Dread? Does anyone know? The things that chase Samus? Oh, it didn't see me? Hello? Hello? What's up? You chilling? Can I pick it up and throw it? 
You know what? That's what we wanted. Calculated? Okay, those... Maybe those are just leaves. Oh my god! It's like Monster Hunter World! It's a domain battle! Another one. Wait, did they pop out down there and popped up over there? No pause? Burp. Oh, that thing is nasty. It has babies? I may as well just watch. This is the best part of the game right here. Holy smokes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got one, I think. Was that did I get a confirmed kill? I got one! I, I don't know what to do with it! <laughs> it's mine now! I'm gonna go sell this on the black market. The slug cat black market. You wouldn't dare. We gotta get over there. This game looks cursed. This way can climb? Bruh button? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Easy game, easy life. Where are we going? Do I just follow you? Follow the homie? Uh... Maybe like this? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god! It's a one-hit killed? You're kidding me! We were fine! That's kind of graphic, just to say that. What? There's no HP in the game? How? <laughs> I feel like I did nothing. Continue to next cycle. Repress, pressing the map button also reveals other information such as your food bar. The circle of dots in the bottom left represents the time until the rain comes. The circle of dots in the bottom left represents the time rain comes. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Is it going to start us off in the same spot? I think the answer is yes. Is this food? I think it's a rock. 
Okay. The map is still plotted out. Ooh, look at this. That's really cool. Let's go... I don't know what the blue is. I think those are enemies. Another world vibe, high resolution. I don't think I've played that. Oh, there's where I died. Okay. I'm thinking that the cycle is basically the time of day. Okay, so we're gonna say that those are not spikes and they're simply... Like weeds? But I think all the food that I ate is gone. What kind of game is Another World? Oh my god! Food me? Crap! Chat, can I angle my throw? Or is the throw always horizontal? Um nom 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 nom. Um nom nom nom. Uh, I should probably get the other food. It has a little bit with momentum. I want to like throw it down though. A lot of times the enemies are below me. It's always horizontal? Really? Oh my god. Okay, that's the nastiest in the, in the game so far. There's a baby up there too. Okay, we're fine. Oh my god! The game has tons of movement tech? Did so many people are speed running Rain World? Who's the, uh, the Grand Pooh Bear of Rain World? Take that! Did I get the bat? It's like, I don't know which way this thing wants me to go. Sometimes it says up, sometimes it says left. There's a Google Doc for people speed running this game? That's wild. There's something up. Huh? Oh, this is, um, this must be hibernation. We're good on food. What in the world is this? For those who didn't see, I have objectives. I have to do enemy damage, as well as reach a vista. Why do I hear music? Oh, okay. The OZ. I was hoping maybe I could pluck some seaweed just then. I love that they give it like a cute face. Alright, let's find our way in. V, you're gonna have to do some research on the movement tech. The next time you play Downpour, we want you to be an actual OG of the game. I'd use it, V. I, I'd use what? The Google Doc? 
or the seaweed. How did no? Oh my god! Outplayed? <laughs> Later, sucker. The freaking blood leeches are so nasty. Are they having a terrain battle? They don't seem to care about me all that much. There we go. Winnable? You know, I wouldn't mind eating some blood leech tonight. Maybe just don't attack the babies. <laughs> I missed. I lost my spear for good. Are you kidding me? Am I hungry? I'm not all that hungry. Okay, let's go this way. I'm following the blood leech. The blood leech knows what to do. They're called noodle flies. I think I like my term better. Well, I guess blood leech is kind of redundant, right? It's a leech fly. Does that thing not want me to go up here? Yeah, it's like... Oh, that's where hibernation is. Oh, is the friend just telling me where hibernation is? It's not really giving me an objective. We reached Hanamura. I... I don't know what I'm looking at, little buddy. Oh crap, it's gonna rain. Um... No fall damage, right? I mean, to be fair, I have not seen rain yet. Maybe we're kind of due. Oh yeah, I'm good. Oh, it's down there. Oh no. Ah! We gotta go. Please. How do I get in? Is this the hibernation? It's not. This is a scam area. What game is this? This is Rain World, and it's actually very popular. They just released a DLC. Oh, that's where I died last. There's no way I'm making that jump. We gotta be a speedrunner to make this jump. <laughs> oh god, please! They could have put that there without actual ability to get there. There's no way. We're freaking toast. Ha 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 ha. 
I don't know how to get up there. That's the issue. All right, we gotta find shelter fast. There are many ways to cross that. I need to read the Google Doc. Please. I should have followed the leeches. Why am I not safe inside of the sewer system? Oh God, it's worse there. Yeah, like right here. Why is this not safe? We're fine. Yeah, I guess if you never see the rain, then you don't really know why it's called Rain World. <laughs> why did I die? This isn't safe? You drowned. That, that looked fine to me. I don't know what the issue was. Look at the map design. This is incredible. Yeah, so we know that there's hibernation there. That's Hanamura up there. I don't know why we want to go there. We have to visit the subterranean echo. Was that the subterranean echo? How would I even know if it was or not? And it didn't look like I had access. Like I had to come in from the other side. Um, do I play this game? I don't know if you're watching. And thinking, oh, this looks like something I can do. Then maybe, maybe. Down X. Oh, maybe it's like sneak? B. Oh, I picked up a rock. There are like flies in here. Did I get it? I got my rock back. Huh. Those gotta be some dead bats. Mmm. Chicken. Ah. Earn 70 points getting creature kills. Oh wait, I just grabbed it. Raw. Alright, don't play with your food. Mmm. All right, we need this. Gotta keep that thing on me. Expedition mode really isn't meant for first timer at all. The only thing that I don't have is I don't know where the locales are. But the idea, and honestly, I didn't really have enough time to do much of anything today in Rain World. So I figured what I would do is the thing that I'm most excited about, which is their expedition mode. It really isn't about like, can he do it? Or not more so this is the new content and to be fair like it is all new to me how would I get over there yo you hungry eat that it ignored my food I was doing it a favor V you are nowhere near subterranean region I'd say give up now, but it's like right, it's like right there. 
that it's like that. It maybe that's not subterranean because it's kind of north, kind of up. Bro, a button. This. Oh my god. All right, we're starting from scratch. Yeah, so that's impassable. I gave that thing a fly and it didn't eat it. That's messed up. Okay, right here. Climb up. Huh? Holy smokes. It's like Celeste all over again. Is there momentum? Wait, that wasn't a path? It actually wasn't a path. That was completely worthless. What do you do in this game? You survive. You explore, find locales, eat food. Almost think of like a don't starve together without the base building. And you're also a slug cat. And you basically can't fight anything for the most part. <laughs> it, it doesn't know. Okay, so that's... That's hibernation. We're fine right now. Give him the rock. Okay, someone said I should maybe play with the seaweed a little bit. I don't think the seaweed does anything. Um, you gotta find your family of slug cats. Oh. That's the objective? That's not our objective in expedition mode. Our objective is to get creature kills, find subterranean echo, and reach the vista in the exterior. It's like we're playing Tarkov, basically. This is basically Hollow Knight Tarkov. Except you don't go back to base with anything. What am I hearing? What kind of freaking Rayquaza looking thing is that? Terrain battle? Honest- oh god. Honestly. If we just Metal Gear our way. Yo, the third party? You know, I don't think they actually kill each other. At all. Huh. Kinda wish that had an indicator, at least of some kind. Alright, we're chilling. Uh, so one of these... Yeah, right here, right here. Alright, we got leech homies. Hello. <laughs> it just walked up and gave me a hug. Oh god. Crap! How do I keep forgetting about the time? Well, we're freaking dead. Please! 
Shelter anywhere at all, please? I messed up, chat. All right, so rule one, always watch the clock. I literally went backwards. There's no way. There's nothing. It, it's all just junk. All right. <laughs> so five things I wish I knew. Slug cat, that's like really loud. I apologize. That's like actually destroying my thing. Game over. Oh, I had like three tries to do it. Judges earned 70 points. I didn't get any. Reach the Vista, didn't see it. Visit the subterranean, I saw it, but then maybe it wasn't that at all. Okay, so that was um Rain World Expedition. New content added into the game as DLC. Really cool looking. Like if I had any ounce of knowledge as to what I'm doing, that could have been amazing. Uh, but that was actually really cool. I will be playing normal mode at some point. I don't worry. We will try the story. It does look very fun. Um, I just had to see the new content, even though everything to me is new. In there. <laughs> Have any of you all picked up the DLC, by the way? Red TV, are you smurfing in expedition mode? We're going to be ending the stream here, by the way. I'm, like, really hungry. Uh, trying to get past the day one jank. That's pretty cool. Again, like, the idea of... Honestly, today's a bonus day for me. I don't typically stream on Thursdays, but... I had to check out these games on release day because... It was the nice thing to do. Um, there's so many games out. Like, we had a blast in Inkbound, and then the idea that something like Rain World is on the table, like, that's incredible to me. Um, but Saturday, I don't think we'll be doing either Inkbound or Downpour on Saturday, unless we get, like, people for Inkbound. Um, Saturday, I believe we're doing the Dead Cells viewer build and then Draft. Um, did you already talk about the new Dead Cells trailer? No, I did not. We'll be taking a look at that on Saturday. That way I have a full Dead Cells segment to talk about what we saw. But yeah, really cool stuff. Some other things came out too. Like there's, honestly, there's a lot in my pipeline right now. I just gotta figure out how to get everything out. I think I'm behind on YouTube as well. But either way, like having you all here, again, today's like a weird day. We're playing stuff that we've never played before, showcasing games that are a first look of stuff that just came out, not even available to the public, releasing codes for games. Thank you all for tuning in today, because honestly, like having you, like imagine if I didn't have anyone I could give a giveaway to. Definitely feel blessed to have you all in the channel and be able to do that kind of thing. Uh, but alas, we will be calling it quits here. Uh, follow the channel. We're live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 5 p.m., 11 a.m. or 12, depending on when I wake up. Follow on socials. Twitter, Discord, TikTok. Um, people in the Discord got codes for Inkbound before anybody else, so... I'm going to try to do that more often. Like, if I get codes from devs to distribute, we'll toss them into Discord first. And then we'll do stuff, like, in the Twitch stream after. Uh, but yeah, we are good to go, people. Um, I gotta go eat, so I'm not going to watch any streams tonight. So we're going to do a classic Ender screen. Of course, if I can ask you to do one thing... And one thing only before bed, dinner, breakfast, brunch, whatever you plan on doing. Maybe you're going to water the cat. Follow the dog. Um, It's just to have a good night, a good day, a good evening, a good whatever, wherever you are. And we will see you all on uh, the Saturday stream. Have a good night, everybody.